my whole life I only wanted to do one thing, was play in the NBA. So like, no matter what happened, I was gonna go until either that happened or it didn't. You know, every single day was just a desperate attempt to be so ready for the opportunity that, you know, I would kill it when it came. I'm Matt Ryan, and this is the off season. Ryan, five seconds, four seconds, heaves it up. Good. Are you kidding me? I mean, it's pretty emotional. It's been crazy 11 months. I was home for a year and a half, and uh, It was just such an interesting year. March 2020 is when my college career ended, <laughs> right when COVID hits, right? So I don't get the pre-draft process of doing all the workouts. Yeah. I don't get a summer league. I come home, you know, summer 2020, and then I'm literally home in Westchester, New York, all the way until the G League bubble of end of the winter 2021. And so when I didn't get in that, I'm like, my goodness, I've been home working out for like, I don't know, nine, 10 months now. Let me at least do something else throughout my day besides just going to the gym and coming home. And I was, I was at this diner, you know, with my, with my grandparents and I said, hey, Pop, like, if you guys need help over there, let me know. So we put in a call and then Frank, who's the boss over here, you know, I got on the phone with him and he said, you know, come down, I can use the help. The business was founded by my grandfather uh, 1900, like you said, and good enough to my father, my brother, and myself, and uh, basically my son. He's 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 the, he's the owner. And he runs the place, and uh, you know we do monuments. As a kid, remember, you have a baseball bat, baseball, football, and basketball. You take them, hit the ball down on the end of the yard, football, throw it down in the basketball, take a shot, a couple of shots, go get the other balls, hit them back, or, you know, quick come back one or the other. Get the basketball, more shots. Hours. How do you do that? I mean, as a kid, <laughs> what kid does that? You work hard, so hopefully it'll all pay off. Every single day for the whole time I was home, you know, we were just working out six hours a day and pretty much not doing anything else. I just got in a habit and a routine of every day, you know, I need to go out there and work hard because tomorrow I might have to go work out for the Celtics or the Knicks or the Lakers, you never know. The daily routine of doing that for a year and a half, convincing myself that Brad Stevens was sitting in that gym with me, evaluating every shot I took, just had me overly prepared for when I finally got the chance uh, last August in Vegas with, uh, with Cleveland. Look at the passion! This is Summer League! Then going from Cleveland to Denver to Grand Rapids. And like that whole time, like we're just waiting. I hadn't gotten a call up. Like there was other guys, you know, getting stuff and I and I wasn't. But it was it was heartbreaking. Like when's it gonna happen? Is it gonna happen? And he would take he, I don't know if he told you. What are you going to do if it doesn't happen? Well, that, he went to school for finance and economics, so he took these other jobs because he didn't want to take a job in a big firm or something just in case the call came. And, and my agent was, you know, had been talking to Boston for a few weeks, and we were just, you know, waiting, waiting, waiting. And then I go to Team USA the last week of February, February, the last week of February, and had a couple of good games. And then that night, that night, um, I got off the phone with Brad and I was flying to Boston that night to sign the contract the next day. That was amazing. That was like, that was like the... We were all crying. That was like the um, most probably emotional. <laughs> Cries very. Yeah, he's, a, he's soft. But that's where I get it from. That was like, damn. You're part of, you know, you're Even his 
USA coach got coach, emotional because yeah. he got so emotional. Just yeah, Coach, so coach Boylan, who was my coach at Team USA, saw me just crying my eyes out. And I lifted my head up and he saw me crying and he just started crying too. And he's like, you made it, you made it. That was a, a, a moment where I completely lost my emotions for a couple minutes. It's just because you just realize, you know, how far you've come and you just, you're just climbing and reaching all these goals that you're setting for yourself. So as, as they were happening in real time, it just like gets emotional. Um, and I hope, you know, I hope I have do a dozen more of those moments where it's just like, damn, you just, you just cry because you're just achieving something that you want so bad. And not a foul on Pons. Here's Ryan, and he's finally got one down. <laughs> All the benches going nuts. <laughs> I love it. I do too. I You know, the G League and Summer League changed my life. And being around Jason, Jalen, Marcus, Al, these guys of that caliber, I knew I belonged on this team. I knew I wasn't ready to have a role on that team, but I knew I belonged with these guys in practice every day, going on that playoff journey. It's only given me so much confidence that I could play at this level. Now I just need the opportunity. I think I've been through so much damn adversity in just like my basketball life. This past year was almost a about damn time feeling. Why would I change the mentality I had the past two years if it's gotten me this far? Now we're just waiting for that, for that contract to come.